Hi everyone, this is Jay Johnson with DailyTexture.com. This is just a very short video on uh, a little something I just learned with the Topaz Photo FX Lab software. Since this is a software I work in all the time with the textures from the Daily Texture, um, and I do use this software in all of my videos, and I've always done my pictures um, in one sitting to where I haven't had to resave them in layers and I've just learned something about the software that will help you to save your files in layers to avoid situations like this um, the group that I run called artistry beyond the camera on Facebook uh, one of the users posted this image where she worked on it yesterday and apparently reopened it today and was trying to work on it again but when she was doing the masking away here around the hair of this girl it was revealing this checkerboard pattern underneath and if you look at the layers panel right here you'll see that the texture is not there and this is because apparently when the file was saved it was saved as a JPEG file which is all merged because she did say she did the from stack which basically merges all the layers and she apparently saved it from there which when you open that back up it is opening up your merged file and I was looking at this to try to help her out and I realized well there's no layers saved here and it seems like I remember when I first started using Topaz Photo FX Lab it I thought it had an option to save as a PSD file, which I remember um, telling it, no, I wanted to save as a JPEG because I don't use Photoshop. So saving it as a PSD was of no use to me. Um, and since I do all my images, pretty much the work in PhotoFX Lab in one sitting, uh, and I don't save in layers from that program, I never really thought about this until she posted this picture. So I pulled open the user's guide from Topaz here and I was reading this open and save files in the user guide and I saw this uh, section right here which uh, when you choose to save your file you can choose to save as and then um, it, it'll prompt with whatever you saved if, if you go to save it, it'll prompt with whatever you told it somewhere along the way you wanted to save as. Maybe the last one you used. I'm not sure how that works. But I know that it has a save as option. So I tried that with her picture, or with my picture. And it was giving me the choices, just like this says. You can choose to change the type or keep the original file name, as well as select the file type. You can choose a TIFF, a JPEG, a PNG, or a PFXL file. And then right after that, it says this. The PFXL file will be the only file format that will save your layers as a form of non-destructive editing. And I was like, holy cow. I didn't even know that was there. Um, so I went back and I opened up. Uh, one of my images here and I duplicated the layer and I went to save as um, I clicked on I'll do this in a second to show you but I, I went to file and save as and it prompted with this uh, folder and it prompted here as the types and down at the very bottom sure enough there's one called PFXL it says projects and I've never seen that before so I don't know if that came with an upgrade or what but let me just show you how it works. Let me close this out. Let me close her file out um, and open, if I can find my screen here, open, hang on, I'm trying to move something around here. I'm trying to move this out of the way where I can, you can't see it because the record button's in the way. Okay, there we go. Open, and I'm going to pick, uh, well, actually, I have my image open right here. So let's say I was going to work on this file in Topaz in PhotoFX Lab. So let me get this opened up.
All right, there's the file. Um, so let's say I wanted to uh, add a texture to it, which um, I'm not in the right folder for textures right now. So let's just stick Mr. Osprey on top here, if I can, if I can pull him in. He's supposed to be getting him. Um, my hard drive was asleep, so it takes just a second. Well, I thought it, there it goes. Okay. All right, there's Mr. Osprey. Let's say I was going to stick Mr. Osprey in here, peeking over from the top here. Let's make him smaller, as if he was flying in from the top. I don't even need to do all this because I just wanted to show you how it was saving layers. But let's say I was working on this and I was going to put him in here and masking away his background. And let's say that I had something came come up that I had to go do and I didn't have time to finish that this was going to take a little while to get around some of these feathers and blend this in a little better. And I didn't want to take a chance on losing my file let's say that we're getting ready to have a storm which has been happening a lot lately and I'm worried that if my power goes out the computer will crash everything will shut off and I will lose this and I want to save it um, so here's my layers this is my original file on the bottom this is the new file on top and I want to go to file and save as and I'm just going to stick this on the desktop and I'm going to save it as this bottom one, Projects, PFXL. And I'm going to call it uh, Heron and Osprey. Okay. Now it has been saved. So I want to say I clear out everything here. I just deleted everything that's there. Now I want to go to Open. And I'll go to my Desktop. And here's this file, Heron and Osprey. So I click on it. Boom. There they are. There is my saved project file with layers intact as I had them. So now I can resume working on masking away the background here from Mr. Osprey like this. And then when I get through and I want to save... I always do a save as. It prompts with a TIFF. That's right. Um, and I always choose JPEG. And so I would give it this. Heron and Osprey 2. Oops, I'm saving it in the wrong folder. I'll never be able to find it there. I'll just stick it on the desktop. I can get rid of it later. I don't ever save anything on my desktop. Just because I don't like it cluttered. So I have very few things on my desktop. Everything is cataloged in one folder for organization. And then I go from there to the messy folders. All right. So there I have, say I've finished with it and I've saved it. Merged, it, it merges everything together. You can do the from stack, which will do the same thing. It basically merges it but right here, but allows you to keep your other ones open in case you want to go back and do something else. Um, but I've already saved it. So let's just delete all this. Now I'll go to File, Open, and Desktop. And there is Heron and Osprey 2. Now this one, since I saved it as a JPEG, is merged. There are no layers visible. But if I go back to Open, uh, no, I don't want to save my changes. And I go back to that PFXL one. That one still has layers in it, which this is really cool because I didn't know you can do this. And this can really come in handy if you're not finished with an image and you're ready to leave or go to bed or there's a storm coming in or something like that. It's really neat that we can do that, and I never knew that existed. So I just wanted to do this little short video to show you that it does exist and I hope some of you guys will that use this software will find this helpful knowledge in the future for your uh, future projects thanks for watching have a great night